Hello crafters. Today we're going to work on church easel card dies from Anna Griffin. Here is our idea sheet. Super easy. Let's get started. Your dies are going to come on this magnet sheet. This does not have the three rings for your binder. It comes with 12 dies. For your first die, oh, and you will need your extra long plates for your Empress machine or any other die cutting machine that you have. So you will need to cut um, one of these out. Um, at least I use the six by 12 sheet of paper. So when you cut that out, it will look like this. Then after that, you will cut your shadow layer and that's gonna look like this. And then you will cut your actual top layer, which is your die cut layer. You can also cut out an extra shadow layer to lay on top of here, if you would like to change the color or put a patterned um, paper there. But your shadow layer is originally to go behind your die cut layer. So I have my cut. You're gonna get two score lines here. You're gonna have one here, and you're gonna fold that towards you. And then you're gonna have another one here. And this is to adhere your card, okay? Like this. So then we will go to our, I already have mines cut out here. So we will go to our shadow layer and our die cut layer. So I have the shadow layer and I have the die cut layer, okay? Now, very easy to adhere this together, but before I adhere this together, I want to go ahead and decorate this. So you will need you will need to die cut a few pieces. This is probably probably the most time consuming. Um, it's not that long, but you will need your bell, one of these, two small windows, two large windows. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but it goes right here. And then here and here, you'll need two of these you need one of your awnings, your door, and then if you want to put the cross. So you will cut those pieces out. And I have mine here. So you will cut out all of those pieces and then you will just piece them in the directions that they need to go. Not directions, but just layer them on top of, on top of, um, of each so the window to the window the small the small the large to the large and then the rest okay so go ahead and get that glued down or you can use your Xyron so when you get to gluing down your door if you want to have the option to open your door do not put glue or adhesive here so you will just put it around so like around here and then on the bottom. And if you put it on the sides, just get as close to the edge as possible. And you just lay that down. Okay, so I still have access to an open door. So that part is done. So now we're going to take our base layer and our shadow layer and I'm going to go ahead and lay this down like this. You line it up and you lay it down. So you have here, you can either put glue or tape. I'm just going to use some Tombow tape that I have here. And I am just 
going to line this up and lay it down. And then once I stand it up, you should see here, see that? So this part is actually under here, so you, if you stand up the car, you won't see it. You can flip it up and have that showing, but I just think it looks more neater this way. Okay, so now that I have that there, I am going to go ahead and lay down my top layer. It's better to do this with some foam tape to give it the extra dimension. So I put some foam tape here. So I'm just going to take this off, these pieces off, and lay that down. Now once we get this laid down, we are going to need to create a stopper for our card so that it stands up on its own as an easel card. So I have, um, after I finish this, I have um, some more samples to show you. So we're just going to line this up as, good, as best as we can and then just kind of give it a good little press like that and that should be good. And then I am going to take my Anna Griffin vacuum and get up these annoying pieces here. I love this. This is awesome. Thank you, Anna. And I also have my waste basket. So look at this. Isn't this pretty? All right, so we're not done. So we need to create a stopper. So I have one here. And please do put some foam tape on it because you need it to sit up so that this can sit like this. So I'm going to take off the back pieces of this foam tape and lay down my stopper. I love this church easel die. Um, it can be used for anything, um, not just a church, house of worship, um, card occasions, baby showers, new babies, engagements, weddings, um, inspiration, uplifting, baptisms, many, many things. So you're gonna lay your stopper wherever you like. I think this is kind of crooked. Just line it up so that is neat. Okay, that looks good. And then you add your extras. Um, I have some flowers here. I think I want to lay those down. Um, but then I wanted to put congratulations. So this was kind of like an engagement or a wedding. So try not to cover up these words. So um, I'll either do that or let me see if this one will work. That one might work a lot better. I have those and then I also have some 3D flowers that I can use as well that needs to get out of my way so that's nice um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that and then I also have these flowers I like these ones to use but they cover up the word. But the good thing is, is that I don't have to add this, but if so, you can put like your sentiment like right here, or you can put it at the top, maybe right here. So either way, it's cute. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna probably use these and I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of those because I really like those, but then I like this one too, because this has the extra, extra rows. And these are 
um, from Anna's, I believe they're from her mini 3D flowers. So I'm just gonna pop foam tape on, on these. And like I said, I wanna show you some other samples that I've done. So as soon as we are done this, I will show you. Okay, I'll put those here. There we go. So that looks nice. And then this congratulations, I might put it here, but I'm not sure because I don't want to cover up my windows. So let me move my little extras out the way. And let me show you the other ones I made. So here is a good look at this one. So I just used some shades of pink. Okay. And then let me show you another one that I did here. So this is another like maybe engagement or um, wedding card. Let me show you another one. And this one here. So on here, I kind of did like a stained glass effect, like how the nice cathedral churches and things look. So just an idea for you. And then for the final one, I have this one. I have to do purple because, you know, I love purple. So I have to do this one. And again, all occasions. Super pretty. Would you love to receive that? Let me show you. Stand them up here. So, leave a comment and a like and let me know which one you like the best. So, let me try to make some room so you can get one last look at them. And tell me in the comment which ones do you like best. I think mine, I think I like this one. The one that we just did. I think this is my favorite. So, I hope you guys are inspired and enjoy your church easel card die. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.